Let's quickly get you caught up on the goings on of Coomer's country. Travis and Dale have a long history together. We need to buddy up and build some holes together. Why hell, I'd be out the money. You'd get the oil. I don't see no future in that. But now with Travis having great success on nearby land. Gang, gang. Dale decided it was time to make amends and partner up on a new well together. If you throw them gadgets away, we might find some oil. <laughs> Listen at it. But after drilling for a week, they end up dry. No luck. Just like his run-ins with the law. Uh, Coomer, Coomer, Coomer. You must have that old steel running wide open now. No, I... I... Uh, uh, listen at you. Uh, you don't start stuttering on me. Look at, look at the shine. Does bad luck keep following Travis around? Find out on today's Coomer's Country. In order to make money, Travis Coomer drills oil away. Searching for that black gold Dang. Buried deep in the soil And Travis can't make his money Unless he's pumping crude And Travis ain't winning troubles You know just what he's gonna do Real black gold And moonshine Make it shine every day And the right way is a Always important to start your day on a high note. Nothing better than heading out to check on the Loy Ranch. Well, where they hit last week and get a sample of some tasty black gold. We just gonna set up here and run a baler at the bottom and see how much blue is in it, see what it looks like. We call it bail testing a whale. Hey, Jay, did we leave a tub over yonder at that other leaf? Then I will head it low. I believe it's one down. I'll go look. Pipe with a dart in the bottom of it. You run it down in there and it holds it till you get it up on the ground and let down on it and then it pour out. Give us a good sample. We can see how much oil, how much water is in it, see how good it is. That was bottom of it. It's good black oil, ain't it? That's money right there. It sure is, Travis. When we come back, we follow along with Travis to check out some of his storage tanks. Is something fishy going on? Stay with us on Coomer's Country. Coomer's Country is being brought to you by Black Gold Moonshine. Real Kentucky moonshine made the right way. And by Bit Brokers, Tricones, Hole Openers, Cutters, and more. Don't drill without Bit Brokers. And by Switzerland County Tourism. Switzerland County, we live it, you'll love it. And by Jeffrey Machine, the world's largest privately owned auger company. And by Dustless Blasting, it's the future of surface preparation. 
Back at the Coomer compound, Travis and Tony do some much needed cleaning on their driller. Needs about another day of spraying on it, don't it? They've got to get some of that bad mojo washed off the driller from the dry hole they just drilled with Dale by the cemetery. Never fun to dig a dry hole, but it happens all the time. You can't win them all. And it blows that out back on it, don't it? Yeah. Spray one place off, it blows it back on three more. Let me see it right here, man, on this back side of these little old things right here. Tony, he don't ever do it right. Wow, man, they should get them all down in that right in yonder where all that cutting gets in there on them wheels good, too. I always got to tell him what to do. Man, I don't know what to do is I had all this guidance. That ain't to get washed out of there. Boy, it's a shame we didn't get a big well up on that last well we drilled for Dale up there by the cemetery, ain't it? Yeah, I figured it would. But... Well, that's the first well I drilled for Dale in forever. Dry hole. That's the way it is. You ain't talking to Dale today? Well, Dale must not be too mad. He wanting us to come over and drag some of them logs out. Today? Yeah, we got it. Yeah, and they go on up there pretty quick. All right, let me finish blowing a little of this out, and I'll shut it off and go on up there. I ain't got time to do that, but I guess I need to help him a little. All right, I, I guess, guess I'll go on up there then. That's probably good, Will. We need to go up there and help him, I guess, the rest of the day. Tony, he don't ever do it right. So with Tony off to help Dale at his property clear out some logs, Travis takes the time to go check on some of his wells to see if they're ready to be emptied. I got a lot of wells, a lot of tank batteries, and I'm all the time going and checking how much oil's in the tank. Obviously, I haven't been to this one in a while. These tanks hold about 210 barrel oil, and I have to go check them from time to time and see how much oil I've got. We know kind of what's supposed to be in them. Almost six foot nine. Looking at these tanks, the level looks a lot lower than what I was expecting. Well, they should have been more than seven feet in there. Somebody get in my dang hole. This is not good. See that? That's only got 17 inches, that's what it's got. Somebody get in my hole. I ain't supposed to have more oil in that end. These wells are not where they're supposed to be. I'm definitely going to have to find out what's going on. What's going on with Travis Oil? Definitely something fishy going on. When we come back, we'll see what kind of predicament old Dale has gotten himself into on Coomer's Country. Well, after drilling a dry well with Dale, Travis sent Tony over to help clear out some timber that Dale was selling off. So far, he's making mighty slow progress removing the giant logs from down the hill where they fell. Sometimes we end up biting off more than we can chew. I think Dale way underestimated the work he needed done. Hey, Tony, what's going on, buddy? I was waiting on Dale. He's over there messing up the dozer, I think. Got a cup of coffee for you here. 
Well, they, they didn't get them all top. No, they ain't got them all top. So we're gonna have to try to drag, get them drug out. Got some good red oak, some good white oak. Seen a few poplar, but it's gonna be a mess, really. How come they didn't top them when they cut them? Why well, didn't? His old dozer, I think, tore up. He's waiting on the dozer, so. Where's Dale at? Ah, he's right over at that dozer. I think, I think he's got track on. Oh, man. You gonna walk over and check him out? Why, well, yeah, we'll go over. Are you getting ready to drag one, or? Well, yeah, as soon as this old bull ever gets it hooked up. Okay. Yeah, we can run over and see if we can help him a minute. All right, let's walk over and see. All right. Tony and I walked over to see what kind of mess Dale got himself into. Travis? Yeah? Can you come over here and give me a little advice? It was bad. Yeah, buddy. You and Tony? Yeah, we'll figure out what's going on. The master mechanic. <laughs> The master mechanic, Mr. Tony Head. Oh, mate, got a track off, ain't you? Yeah, in the world's worst way. Real, real bad. In the world's the worst place. Dale had himself stuck going downhill, wedged up again a tree with a track off. If we had your dozer sitting right here to anchor me, where I could hook to you and you could hook to me and uh, spin this thing this way. Oh, brother. I can back up, see? Yeah. And help it and spin it around and get it going up and down the hill. Yeah. Then I can take the blade and lift the front end up and then maybe take yours and my cable and lift the back side up where we could work on it. Yeah. Well, you think, Tony, that there probably work on it? It probably will. Get you spun What's around where we can do something with it. Yeah, because we can't do nothing with it up against that tree. We can't even get the track even yeah. started on. But I, I can pull forward. Well, when he pulls forward, that's probably, he'll make that back end swing around. That's probably what we'll try to do then. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know nothing, but we'll try it. I think we'll get it off of this friggin' stomp here. We'll be okay. easy. Now we just got to get that track back on. We'll take that winch, hook in there, see if we can pull it enough to get this up on that and get it spun on. butter. Let's get the front end and we're back in business. Look on to it right here, Tony, and pull on it a little pull bit. Pull it this way? Well, we need to, what we need to do is get this up and get, get it over this way where it won't come off that right there, see? You just got to go in with a good plan. I tell you what, if we hook on this side and let me back up and let him put tension right over here, It'll pull that front end back open. Okay. Or a better plan B. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Hey, hold, hold up this man. Hold up, man, Tony. Wait a minute, let me, let me get this up right here. I like that idea. Is it all the way on at the bottom, or is it gonna come back off? I don't know. Yeah, I know it. If you go forward, it's gonna come off. If you can go back a little bit and get it all the way on. Go back just a little bit. Oh, oh. Probably should have skipped plan C. We might back up some and that climb back up on it. You know what I'm saying? Plan C wasn't so good. See, we never did have that all the way down in there, you know. And... Well, let me try it a little bit. If not, we'll take it forward. It should stay on there, should it, going backwards? I don't know. We can back up a little and see. Oh. When he get that bottom up under. Hey, Tony. What do you think about 
cooking a double chain, the double hook on each side of that track and get over the top of that blade with your cable. Pull it. Well, I'd say we get hooked on that one side and you spin it forward, it should go right on there. You're witness hillbilly engineering at the finest. Hey, tell him leave his blade, leave his blade down where it's at. Leave your blade down and go forward. Lock that track over there and spin this one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Plan G is definitely gonna work. Hey, Dale, push your blade down now and pick up on it and we'll pull the bottom of it under. I like plan G. Hang on this corner down. Where you wanna hook at? Why this hook? Front or up underneath it? It hook up, hook up underneath it over there somewhere and pull it back this way. This getting frustrated, frustrated, frustrated. I can't even say it right. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> Put your pry bar right in the front of it there. Hey, right, Donnie. Right down a little bit lower. You can. You get one side on, the other comes off. Hey, you want to come up over here? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is terrible. This is getting frustrating. We get one side on, one side goes off. One side on, one side off. Actually, I think this is further off than it was when we started. OK, I quit. Do Dale and Travis team up and do another well together? That'll have to wait for another day. Stay tuned for more Coomer's Country. Coomer's Country is being brought to you by Black Gold Moonshine. Real Kentucky moonshine made the right way. Bit brokers, tricones, hole openers, cutters, and more don't drill without bit brokers. Switzerland County Tourism. Switzerland County, we live it, you'll love it. Jeffrey Machine, the world's largest privately owned auger company. And by Dustless Blasting, it's the future of surface preparation. After a long day of doing everything he could to get Dale's tractor back to working order, Travis was spent. Today has been an awful frustrating day, but I've been looking forward to get back home and work on my pulling truck. Uh-oh, what is Officer Joe up to? Who's he waiting for? It's about time. Here comes Comer, Dad Bernie. Oh, I swear, what's he doing out here today? That gum him. Over this way, over this way, over this way. What the heck is Joe doing? What is he? Thought I'd see you out here today. I've got a search warrant here for you. Are you still shining some? No, no, I ain't, I ain't been doing no shining. I got a search warrant here to search your vehicle. You ain't searched my vehicle. Yeah, today. I'm gonna search your vehicle, Homer. I got no choice. It's been signed by a judge and court ordered. Who signed it? Look at it. Well, it looks like you're legal, so I guess you'll have to have to search you. Nah, I ain't got no choice. It's signed by a judge. Let me look in here and see what all I'm doing. the right spot, that's all I got to tell you. Comer, now don't be doing that now. What you got in this jug here? Ah, right, that's some weed killer. Put around some of them whales. Get you a little bit. Yeah, right it looks like weed killer. Yeah, I guess it is. Woo, lordy. Now he's sniffing weed killer. <laughs> that puts your lights out there. I hate having to do this, Travis, but I just don't have a choice. I believe you have a choice, Joe. Why don't you just leave me alone? Are you gonna keep on it? Well, you gotta do what you gotta do, and I gotta do what I got to do. Something gonna come out of bad. Well, and I hope not. I'm getting tired of it. Good, that smells like water, Comer. Yeah, well, that's all water, and there's a few beer cans on here. I don't throw no kind of alcohol whatsoever. Well, what are you, you doing with, what are you doing beer cans on there if you don't throw no alcohol, I no kind? I've blown them cans, yo. Uh, like I've, heard, I've heard that story before. You ain't got no business getting in there. Well, that's part of what this search warrant says. Well. I don't know why you don't clean your truck up. I ain't never seen such a mess. Such a mess. Well, I, I work out of that truck. I ain't, like y'all, I ain't got time to clean my truck up. Well. i show you what a mess looks like, old Joe. I hear you, I hear you. I've been told before. Damn you, 
newcomer. Yo, go going on yonder. Come on, what did you do? Hell, your damn car come out of gear or something. I don't know. I don't believe it come out of gear. Damn, Comer. I'll be damned. Yo, your car rolled off over the hill. I don't believe it rolled off over the hill. I think it had some help. No, you, I never you was up there by I the, stand right there in the back box. I tried yeah, to catch you. I run plumb down here. You was up there the truck with me when no, I looked down. I never touched your old car, Joe. Yo. You know better than that. I wouldn't touch your old car like that. It just jumped out of gear and took off. Them Ford's bad fat anyway. I never know the one jumping out of gear, and I've had that car for years. Well, now, it jumped out of gear that time because I, I come running uh, out there trying to catch you. You, 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 you're telling me a story because you, you're stuttering. No, I, I wouldn't do you that way, Joe, at all. Well, I, believe you, I believe you tore my car up on purpose, Comer. I guess you know I'm going to be really looking now. <laughs> How are you going to get back to <laughs> Comer? Now, what are you going to do, Joe? You need to ride to the shop or what? No, I'll call somebody back come get me. But you know, oh, let me give you a ride. You, give you, you, you a know, I'll, you know, I'm gonna really be looking now. Well, you tore my car. That's good. That's just what I want y'all well, to do. Every one of y'all up there, get, time. Yeah, well, I, I've done this by myself, but I'll get some help now. That's. Yeah. Well, there wasn't no get, sense you tear my some, car up get like you that. Some big help or some good help. I'll get some big help. Do. I apparently ain't big enough to do it, but I can get some big help. Hopefully, this will slow you down. Hard to phone with y'all anyway. Every time I turn around, you or some one of your buddies up there pulling me over, and I'm tired of it. Well, you quit making moonshine, they wouldn't be doing that. Yeah, you ought to get some of these guys out there making all that dope, leave the boys that try to make a little moonshine. Uh, there ain't nothing wrong so with you. So you're going to admit now you're making no, moonshine? I ain't making no uh, moonshine, but you need to get that. That's these what boys. you just said. I ain't got time to fool with you, Joe. I got to go to work. It's all right, Cummer. Your day's coming. What has Coomer gotten himself into now? Find out as we make another trip next week into Coomer's country.